Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Shots Blueprint. In this video, I quickly want to go over my trade strategy that has seen me growing just about any account size. Sit back and pay close attention, guys. Now, what this strategy entails is you want to identify a key level or a demand level in the market. So a daily key level or a demand level now you can use just about any time for him, but because I'm predominantly a swing trader, I'm going to be sticking with the daily time frames for this. Explanation. So clearly you want to identify a daily key level or a daily level of demand. And then obviously you want to see price trade into the key level or the level of demand. And then when once price comes into your daily level, you're looking for one of two things to happen. Is that you want to see price trade past the level and closes below the level or price rejects the level closing above the level. Now, if price closes below the level, there's no trade. But then if price closes above the level, and then presents a rejection from the level, then of course, this gives us an indication of a potential trade opportunity from this level so we want to see clearly price closing above the level and then presenting us a weak rejection from the level that gives us a clue that in this case we're going to be having a potential buy opportunity from the level so how do we then take advantage of the potential buy opportunity from this level now, this is where you want to drop two time frames lower. So you want to drop down two time frames lower. So from the daily time frame, I would want to drop down to the one hourly time frame and then look to see a shift in the structure from the one hourly time frame, just like this. So dropping down two time frames lower from the daily time frame would be the one hourly time frame. And then I would want to see a one hourly time frame shift in the market structure. In this case, from a bearish environment to a bullish environment. And when once that happens, I then wait for a retest of this level where I would then look for an opportunity to get in on the buy trade. So clearly, I want to see from the early time frame that there's been a shifts in the structure in this case from a bearish to a bullish environment because we're clearly looking at a demand level as a case study right here a level where we're looking to buy from so from the early time frame i need a bearish structure shifts to a bullish 
structure shifts on the early time frame. And when once that happens, I then wait for a retest of this structure level. Firstly, in a previous level of support, in a previous level of resistance, and then having to see price trade above the level would then likely become a new support. A previous level of resistance expected to act as a new support. So I would look to get in on buys at the retest of this level. But then sometimes price doesn't just come into this level and then give the entry confirmations for buys. But that's to say anywhere within the one early time frame market structure would be a safe spot to get in on my buys. So anywhere within this green rectangle zone, I would then look to get in on buys. And what would be my buy confirmations? My buy con entry confirmation would be what a rejection candlesticks, one hour time from rejection candlesticks, one hour time from bullish and golfing candlesticks at the retest of this level right about here, the green rectangular zone right about here. That would be my entry criteria for buys. Now, very quickly, looking at the typical chart example of this on volatility on the index. Now, price has been rallying for the last seven days. And then price has nicely come into a daily supply level as you can see looking to the left right about here as soon as you tapped into the level you can see we had this huge sell off from the level and then we're now seeing what price is back to this daily supply level now just to show how strong the level is we extend this slightly you can see right from this point we had also the level acted as a supply resistance as soon as we had a break and then a nice retest of the level we had what a sell-off from the level even before we then add this sell-off from the level so on two occasions you can see how we've had to see nice sell-off from the level being a nice and a strong daily supply level and just to just to show the strength of this level if we take this even a bit further into the past, you would get to see, you get to see the very same level from the past. Our price has had to see significant major movement in the opposite direction from every time we tested the level. As you can see right about here, when we're beneath the level, we had a tap into the level and then we had a sell off from the level. Right about here, you can see we had a nice sell off from the level. Right there, we had a break above the level and the retest of the level, we had a price rally. Couple number of times, you can see how we tested the level and then we had to rally to the upside. Right about here, we have a price rally to the upside. Now you can see how what, quite a number of times we have had to see price test this level and add significant movements to the opposite direction. Now this is not just a supply level for me, this is a key level a daily key level. And this is a very strong key level indeed, owing to the fact that what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven number of times we're about to test the level from above and beneath and then seeing huge significant price movements in the opposite direction. And then what you would notice is for every of the time we tested this level, guys, you can see as soon as we tap into the level right here, what did we see? We had a rejection from the level and then we are closed below the level. You can see 
came right into the level here. What did you see? A rejection from the level closed below the level. When we had a break above the level, guys, we tapped into the level. What can you see? A rejection from the level close daily candlestick close above the level. Now, guys, here, what can you see? What traded so right into the level, a nice weak rejection from the level, and then was a daily close above the level. Now, guys, you can see I'm not making this up. Right here, you can see what we had a break below the level, a retest of the level, or did you notice a rejection from the level, a daily candlestick close below the level. Right here, we're beneath the level. What can you see? What a nice rejection from the level, daily candlestick close below the level. And then you can see just what yesterday's candlestick, yesterday's daily candlestick, what created right into the level, rejection from the level closed below the level. Now, guys, this is very powerful. You can see for yourself, this is a strong indication of what volatility on the red index is likely going to be adding what to the downside. And then, of course, having seen the indication from the daily time frame that what volatility on the index is going to be presenting us a potential sell opportunity. This is where we would drop down two time frames lower to the one hourly time frame where we'd be looking for our sell entry confirmation. Now dropping down to the one hourly time frame. What would I be looking to get in on the selling opportunity, taking advantage of the daily time frame bias? Like I said, we needed a hourly time frame structure shift from bullish to bearish, which we clearly have had ourselves right here. You can see we had this level right here. Being the lower, being the higher low. That leads to the higher highs right above here. 